So I'm doing this series of paintings on uh, the Artist Club, and uh, like I say, I got this book. It was published by Philip Pavia called uh, Club Without Walls, and it was the, the history of the Artist Club. And I think he was the secretary from 1949 until about 1954, 55, at which point I think Irving Sandler took over. But um, in the process of doing this, it, there were photographic uh, copies of his ledger pages from his, uh, his book that he that was published in the back of this this book that I got. So I transcribed out all the addresses of about, I don't know what it was, 150 or 200 people. And uh, I was composing this all into a painting. And it was so interesting for me that I, uh, I ended up writing an article for the Brook and Rail about it. And um, kind of the premise of the article was, Okay, everybody knows who William de Kooning is, and Ed Reinhardt, and even Milton Resnick, and a few other people, but who were all these people? And among the people that were not known, or that I didn't think most people knew, was a, an artist named Landis Lewitton. Anyway, um, so I published this article in the, in the Brook and Rail, and uh, I guess about a year and a half, maybe two years go by, and uh, one day I... Uh, I turn on my computer and I check in my email and I get a, a little email. It's like, hi, my name is, I don't know what, Henry Lewitton or something like that. And uh, I'm the nephew of Landis Lewitton and I read your article and I'm just wondering if you have any information about Landis Lewitton. Um, and then he goes on to say Landis uh, was born in... Uh, Alexandria, Egypt, and about 1923 or 24, he left home and went to Paris for a few years, and then he ended up coming to New York. And uh, basically, our family has just totally lost touch with him. And you know, I have recently retired, and I'm I've got a health problems, and I'm I've been researching our family, and I haven't been able to find anything about him. I mean, we knew that he was an artist, but your little article was one of only one of the references on the internet, all the internet that we could find that mentions him. So could you send me any information that you have about Landis Lewitton? So, being the good neighbor that I am, I, I sat down a little bit and I, so I thought about everything that I knew about Landis Lewitton and I wrote down a little letter to him. Uh, Dear Mr. Lewitton, you should read Irving Sandler's book uh, Sweeping Up After Artists because he mentions him. He's also mentioned two or three other times in some of the other Irving Sandler books. He was also one of the artists that was featured in 16 Americans in 1959. That's the same show that Jasper Johns and Robert Rauschenberg were in. So in a certain way, Landis Lewitton actually, especially 1959, 1960, was one of these artists that was at the top of his game. He was very well known, very well respected, but his sense dropped into obscurity. Um, and then I was, as I was writing him this letter, I, I looked on my list of names from the Artist Club and I said, by the way, here is his address. It was something on Waverly Place downtown. This is the last address that I have, which was like 1952. Anyway, I put this into an email and I sent it back to the guy. And so a month or two goes by and then I get another email from Mr. Lewitton. And he, he sends me an email and he goes, he says, uh, Gee, I guess I should fill in more of the backstory on, on who I am and our family and all these other things. Uh, basically, I am his nephew, and about a year and a half ago, I was diagnosed with some type of really nasty cancer, and there's a chance that I'm not going to survive more than another year or two. Um, I had always been interested and sort of mystified about this uncle of ours who we didn't really know, who was a great artist in New York, but we had lost touch with. And it's so wonderful that you were able to send me this information because since then I've been able to read some books about him, find out who he was, but even more important than that, one of my daughters lives in New York City. So when you sent me his address, I sent that to my daughter who was living like three blocks away from Waverly Place at the time. She went over there, knocked on the door, and of course Landis Lewitton died I think 1968 or something like that. But she knocks on the door a woman comes to the door and answers the door and she introduces herself. My daughter introduces herself and the woman that came to the door says, well, I'm Landis's daughter. 
And so the great thing was is that after being separated from the family for like 85 years, suddenly that branch of the family all got back together and it was all because of this particular painting and an article that I wrote and I just thought, I thought that was fantastic, you know, and that really gets to the core of, you know, the connections that people have through the art world and, uh, and it's uh, how important it is to individuals. Now you're going to ask me something else about the, the calm report? Yeah. 